There are many ways to deploy your Shiny application and one of those ways is by using Azure App Service. Now, before you're thinking, Azure, that's quite expensive, Hold on, because I'm going to show you how to do it for as less as $5 per month. In order to deploy your Shiny app to Azure App Service, you will need the following things. Your Shiny application, a Docker file, a GitHub Actions workflow file, and an Azure App Service account. So let's not waste any more time and let's get started. First of all, I want to show you the application that we're going to deploy. It is a simple hangman game. You just provide letters and you need to guess a word. But let's get started with a Docker file. We're going to our studio and we're going to create a new file. We call it Docker file without any extension. And here we will write our Docker file. We will be basing our image on the Rocker Arver image. So we import that. And since this project is working with our env, we're going to install our env using the remote package so we can install a specific version. In this case, 1.0.2. What we're then going to do, we're going to set the repository to package manager because that is a little bit faster. Then we're going to copy all of our files, set our working directory and then run our env restore, which will install all the packages. We expose port 3838 and then we're going to run our application on that particular port. So note that 3838 is matching here. Once that's done, it's time to build this Docker file. We will do that in the terminal. We run Docker build and then we give it a name. And once that build process is finished, can take a while, especially the first time, then we can test if everything went all right. We can do that in Docker Desktop, but we can also do that in the terminal. Docker Desktop is easy, you can just hit the play button, but also in the terminal it's relatively straightforward. Just call Docker Run with the port that we just exposed, which was 3838. Then when everything went all right, we can actually go to the browser and go to localhost and then port 3838 to hopefully see our application. And to test it, it all works fine. So that's brilliant. We can change our Docker file a little bit so that we can remove the part where we are actually installing our env from GitHub. That is because this particular project has an R profile file and in that file, our env is automatically um, activated. Now, if we are then copying all the contents of our directory to the app folder in the container, then we will also copy this R profile file, which means that whenever we run R, our env will automatically get activated, but also our env will be uh, installed. So we could remove that. And what we can then do is simply only set the options here to the uh, our studio package manager and run our env restore. Now we need to have our image somewhere and we're going to use container registry for that. You look it up in your Azure account and then we simply create a new container registry. We would need to give some information like the resource group we're attaching it to, but also provide a registry name, which I'm calling Hybrid here. And you need to set a location. Note the tiers that you can choose um, and here's the pricing for them, relatively cheap. Now, when that's done and you have reviewed everything, you can review and create, hit the create button and your registry will be deployed. Once that's done, you can click on it and um, you will then get a little bit more information about this registry. So you can go to the resource, and in that resource, you can um, get more info and also see what kind of repositories are attached. Important thing is here that we're getting the access keys and the access keys, we need to enable the admin user first, and then we will get two passwords and we will copy the first password. Then we're going to our GitHub repo and we're going to add some repository secrets and we're going to add the username, the password, and then our uh, registry endpoint. So the endpoint is basically whatever name I gave the registry, Hybrid. And then we also add the password and the username. 
Once that's done, we can start working on our GitHub Actions workflow file. We simply create a folder called .github workflows and in that we are creating a file called container registry .yaml and we will construct our workflow flaw here. Whenever we have a push on the main branch, we're going to do certain things. Namely, we're going to get our image to the registry we just created. So we're going to build the container image using the Ubuntu latest runtime. And the steps that we're going to take is checking out the repository, log into the registry with the Docker login action. What we're then going to do is um, make sure that we are setting the correct registry name, username and password from our GitHub secrets which we can then reference with the doubled curly braces and the dollar sign. And we will have a step for building and pushing the image to the registry, which also comes from Docker and is called build push action. You can give it optional tags if you want to. And the tag that we're giving it here is the endpoint and the image name, which we set to shiny Azure app service. Then we save that, we're going to push that to GitHub and then our action will run. So we can head over to GitHub, the action section, and we can look what that action is actually doing and see if it completely finishes. You can always check whatever steps it's taking to make sure that everything goes as you intended it to go. You can also see here that it will log in into the registry and see um, that everything works out fine. And then we're going to install our env and install all the packages. Once it's done, you will get a green check mark and then everything went all right. If we're then going to go to our registry that we just created in Azure, you can see that in repositories, we now have the shiny Azure app service image there. So we can use that in our Azure app service. You can also get a little bit more information here about uh, the image that was just being built. Right, Azure app service. So we're going to set that up, head to Azure, click app service, and we're going to create a new one from scratch. Simply click create, then we pick a um, couple of options there, but we pick web app. If we did that, we need to provide some information. Again, the resource group, the also the name of our app service, then how we want to publish it. And we can publish it using the code, a Docker container or static web app, and we're using the Docker container. And you need to choose the region where you want to be in. And I'm just going to match my registry with West Europe. Then you need to choose your pricing plan. Make sure that you pick uh, one that's, uh, if you're playing around, a free plan and not a premium plan. But you can see there are a lot of different plans here and the pricing for all of these plans is different as well. For the free plan, you get 60 minutes per day of CPU usage, which is fine for a demonstration. Then you can review everything. And in the Docker section, you can say that you want to have a single container. And then you can say that it needs to come from Azure Container Registry. Then it automatically fills in the registry that it can find. And uh, then we are ready to go. Always make sure that you review your web app and make sure that you've chosen the right tier, but also check that you have chosen the correct image. In our case, we have chosen the image that is coming from our container registry that we just created and is called Azure App Service. So once you're happy, you can click create. If the deployment is a progress, you can wait for it. It takes a couple of minutes, but once that's done, we can go to the resource and we see our app service here, which is called Hangman Shiny. We also get a URL and that URL, when you click on it, you would expect to see your application, but nothing turns up. So we need to do some work. We head over to configuration. And in that configuration, we go to application settings and we're going to add a new application setting there. The application setting is going to be called website support and we're going to set it to 3838 because remember that's the port that we exposed. Now we're going to click save and that means that the app service gets restarted as well. Once that's done, we're going back to overview. We can click on the URL 
and see if we have success now. And that is our Hangman app, so perfect. And that's how you deploy your Shiny application to Azure App Service. Now, your adventure is probably not ending right here because you might want to add things like authentication, authorization, custom domains, and much more. Luckily, you can do that with Azure App Service 2, but I'll have to leave that for another video. If you want to know when a new video pops up, make sure to subscribe to this channel and you'll be the first to know. For now, thanks for watching and happy programming.